Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. If you try that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain. But over time, I became profitable, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart. And basically, this is a drawing I drew from August 17th. I said, I think we'll have a healthy rebound and basically sell off in September, put in a, a nice low in the beginning of October, and then trend up back to new highs in the end of the year. Right now, we saw past two days, we had some rejection. See the NASDAQ, we had some, some sellers push the market down. Basically, the question is, did we put in a short-term high? And are we gonna now come back down or is this kind of just some consolidation and some basing, basically building out a, a bull flag before we break even higher? That's the question. I'm in the camp that we will trade back down, at least down to retest the lows we put at about uh, 14,800 to 14,600. I'm in the camp that we will at least test those levels and then continue higher at the end of the year. September and October seasonality wise are bearish and there is typically more volatility in those months. so. It is to be expected when you also consider what the dollar is doing. So let's take a look at DXY because DXY puts a lot of pressure on NASDAQ, the market in general, but even more so on NASDAQ. When the dollar goes up, NASDAQ is very weak. You can see the past two days, Thursday, Friday, very strong buying on the dollar. And when the dollar rises, like I said, NASDAQ's gonna fall. So the question here, if you just look from left to right, we put in a low, we put in higher lows on the daily, another higher swing low big push up obviously if we break these highs at 104.6 we are expected to sweep this liquidity at 104.7 i have an alert here nq shorts are great if the dollar can break above 104.7 why is that because if you go to the weekly chart that means we really do have a bullish market structure shift when we break 104.7 on the dollar and a bullish market on the dollar is not good for nasdaq so that's why I like shorts on NASDAQ and I'll like them even more if we can see the dollar push above 104.7. Now on the weekly chart too for the dollar, there was no trading into this fair value gap from 110.4 to about 107.9. Right here, no trading. So I really do see how we could push up into here if we can get above 104.7 on the dollar and that's going to be awesome so i'm really watching that area as soon as we break it i'm going to be even more confident in shorts and i'll be looking to basically take off my nasdaq shorts when we trade into the 108 109 area on the dollar heading back over to the nasdaq on the weekly chart now again what do we see from left to right obviously extremely bullish from left to right you see that we didn't really trade at all in 14,400 to 14,150 so because of that, you might want to ask yourself, okay, if we were to go to the downside, where do you think we would go next? Well, the real support is at about 13,500, which is a lot lower. So I personally don't even think we will get that low. That's another 13% from here. I actually just think that we'll trade into about 14,400 to 14,150, which would be about an eight or 9% correction from here. Totally possible in September, or October. And then I think that we will cycle back up. Just looking at this right now, you can see that we closed at resistance to the left. So all we need to do is watch and see, okay, if the NASDAQ can get above 15,915, then I would completely ignore all of this. If we ever see the NASDAQ at above 15,915, I personally will assume we'll, we'll target 16,075 and then trend up for the rest of the year and get to about 16,500. If we are staying below 15,900, I'm favoring shorts. I'm personally favoring shorts as long as the dollar stays strong. So I'm watching the dollar scene. Okay, dollar staying strong. It's in a bullish market structure shift. If it stays in a bullish market structure based on price action, and NASDAQ cannot get above 15,915, then I'm looking for shorts. As soon as that flips, I can start to look for longs. Taking a look at ES on the weekly chart, same kind of setup here. We're just traded into resistance to the left. You can see we basically perfectly tested almost 45.50 and kind of got rejected on Friday. So personally, I'm bearish on ES as well. 
But I think that NASDAQ will be even weaker because the dollar is strong and NASDAQ is a lot weaker when the dollar is strong. So I favor in shorts on NASDAQ, but I'm watching ES as well. Reason why I believe ES is also bearish is because we sold off and we broke below these two swing lows on the weekly chart, 44.14 and 43.63. And now there's no swing highs until we get above the, the recent high at 46.37. So as long as we're below that, I favor shorts, but I'm, I'm personally not going to be really shorting ES um, because I think that NASDAQ will be weaker. And you can see possible targets, like where do you think, where I think that we'll trade down into is about 4280, 4270, because looking to the left, you can see your mimosas from 4274 to 4350, not a lot of support. So if we get below 4350, I think we will get all the way down to about 4270, 4280 before cycling back up. And the same idea, I personally believe we'll get up to about 4700 by the end of the year. I just think that September and October will be choppy and we'll just kind of put in a low and then trend back up from there. Taking a look at ES on the daily chart, similar setup as NASDAQ, we had some rejection, but then you gotta ask yourself, okay, is this a rejection or is this a little bit of consolidation before we push up even higher? We'll have to wait and see what happens. Looking down on the four hour chart, it just looks like consolidation. This isn't super bearish. It just looks like we're trade, trading sideways. We're holding up here. So that doesn't look very bearish. Going down to NASDAQ on the four hour chart as well. Um, I do like that it looks like we were putting in higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, and then we kind of wicked down and broke these recent lows on the four hour chart. But again, it still looks like we're trading sideways. There's not a huge break. Um, I would like to see us basically close below 15,362 on a four hour candle to really have faith that, okay, we are gonna start pushing down now. Until that happens, this looks like consolidation before pushing even higher. Taking a look at VIX on the weekly chart, sold off completely all the way down to the recent lows. So we'll see if we break all the lows. Let's take a look at the VIX on the daily chart. Again, we're sitting right at support. We've been bouncing here every time. So basically, if we've been bouncing here previously, we'll have to see if we bounce again or if we just break straight below and go to new lows. Anything's possible there. I don't really do a lot of price action analysis on the VIX. So that's basically all I wanted to cover on the VIX. One thing to note before we wrap up, we would want to be cautious shorting if we have a shorter time frame because on a daily and a four hour, we're bullish. We're only bearish on a weekly on ES and NASDAQ. The lower confirmations are still saying that we're bullish. And we realistically on the daily chart, we don't get bearish until we break this swing low at 14,700 on the NASDAQ, but I'm playing off the weekly chart and I'm also playing off the dollar. So because of looking at the dollar and the weekly chart, that's what lets me remain in a short bias on the NASDAQ. But for all my intraday trades, I'm trading ES. And on intraday trades on ES, I'm favoring longs. So I'm going long intraday on ES. And even on NASDAQ, if I take uh, intraday trades on my, on my day trading account, I'm going for longs. But when we're talking about swing trading for days and weeks, I have a short bias on NASDAQ. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Look up our next video coming out wednesday night subscribe for more videos just like this i post two videos a week showing all the trades i'm in in market analysis let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video